Well, um, first of all, I think it's important to welcome the winds of change uh, in Kinshasa. So we certainly welcome uh, the, you know, the announcements made by the new president, President Shekedi. And of course, we will encourage him to continue in that direction and then implement uh, what, he, what he announced. So, so with concrete actions, like follow up with concrete actions. Um, then important thing, of course, is to see how MONUSCO can accompany this, this uh, process of change. Um, and there, I think the big priority should be the protection of civilians, especially in the East. Uh, where, as you know, uh, this, the situation is still very, very difficult with a lot of armed groups, uh, uh, killing people, raping. So there, I think, a big effort still has to be done in order to pacify the country. Um, and then as to the future of MONUSCO, um, we think we need to have a clear exit strategy. And for that, we need uh, some time, I think, to, to think about it. So that's why the idea is to, to have a first um, renewal of the mandate for a few months, which will give a little bit more time to think about the long-term exit strategy. Should you, should you think now about uh, uh, reconsidering the size of MONUSCO starting from now? Uh, Not right now, because I, as I said, the big challenge is still there, uh, especially in the East. Uh, so we don't think it, this is the time for a, a you know a big reduction in in the in the in the mission, but after yes over time I think yes clearly uh, it's time after so many years you know it's time to go for uh, for an exit yeah, but not right now. Um, okay. Ambassador, on a completely different subject, in your neighbouring country there seems to have been a, an attack in the Netherlands in the last couple of hours. I don't know if you're aware of it. Where, where it was in Utrecht. Oh, yeah, uh, an attack in a tram, yeah, 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 yeah I heard about that, but I don't have the details. There are similarities, so some suggestions, maybe there are similarities with the sort of attack that took place in New Zealand, that it could have been another targeting of Muslims. Is this something that eventually yeah. can't count, because if this becomes transnational, and, you know, these, these racist, white nationalist mm. people and these attacks, is it something that could come to the council of the well, uh, certainly it's worrying. Um, I don't know the details about the Utrecht uh, attack, so we have to see, you know, what, what is really there. Um, well, I think, you know, generally the UN has a role to play in promoting tolerance, dialogue, you know, respect for religions, etc. So. Uh, overall, yes, yeah, certainly there is a role, a role to play for the UN. For the Security Council in particular, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, well, uh, of course, there is the, the fight against terrorism, which, uh, you know, we condemn terrorism, whatever, wh whenever, uh, for any reason. So. Yeah, lots of regional ISIL attacks all over the world. This is a, a different sort of terrorism. It's, it to be linked. Uh, yeah, okay. it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it might be a result, of course, uh, but it's, it's probably what the terrorists want to achieve is to see this this kind of attacks uh, you know occurring uh, multiplying uh, everywhere so yes we have to be very very vigilant about that yeah all right have a nice day